Hey, this is Mike. I wanted to show a little preset that I use all the time and I think it'd be cool to just show you how it's built. It comes in really handy. I call it a turntable controller and it's basically a way to map looping footage to a rotation controller like this. Uh, this is a 500 frame uh, movie of a rotating nose and instead of using time remapping and ramping it up and then looping back to zero, I can connect it to this rotation controller and position it really easily. The other nice thing is I can take this this rotator and the um, expression and store it in a preset. So if I have any uh, pre-comp or footage that I want to control with an angle control, I can just search for it and drag it onto the footage and I'm up and running. I just want to show you how to build this and add this to your arsenal because it's really handy. Um, so I'm going to start from scratch here um, with a new project and grab that nose turntable. See here is the footage here. Uh, I'm going to start by going at frame right at the beginning of this thing and saying time freeze frame and that's going to enable time remapping with just a, a stopped frame there. Um, we're going to need to have time remapping and enabled for this to all work and I'm going to create an expression control angle control right here. And now we're going to start uh, writing some code. Now I'm using Expressionist here. Um, you don't need it at all to do this, but it uh, makes the text display nicely for the video display. So um, what I'm going to first do is create uh, an expression by alt clicking the time remapping. And I'm going to load that into Expressionist. And I'm going to start um, writing some code. Now first what I want to do is map the rotation from you know 0 to 360 to the full duration of this footage so that the two sort of align together um, so I'm going to need to grab that information as a variable so uh, first I'm gonna grab the rotator and find that angle control I might find it here yeah I'll just select it there and pick whip it and then um, the duration equals this layer source source meaning um, you know not the length of it in the timeline but the length of the actual source in the project uh, dot duration and now t I'm gonna create a, f um, a ratio between the two that I'm gonna multiply to get us the correct time output so um, rotation factor equals the duration divided by 360 and now uh, the result is going to be the rotator times uh, rotation factor and so I'm going to select that time remapping property add it to that and it's just copied all that stuff into here and as I rotate this now get this back to the composition view. Um, it maps properly but it stops at, at one rotation in either direction and, and what we really need is the looping to work. So I'm going to introduce some math called modulo. Uh, to show how it works I'm going to create a little text layer here and um, put an expression in the source text um, and then I might as well just take the pick whip and pick whip our angle controller and you'll see now as we rotate this around it gives us a readout of the angle and its value so what we want to do is to loop it back to zero after we pass one rotation so I'm going to use a bit of uh, math called modulo and that's the percentage sign and that is if you divide one thing by another thing this is the remainder that it gives you. So that number will sort of, as you increase, it will loop back to whatever number we have here. So I'm gonna do 360. And now as we rotate this controller, looking at the number, it is correctly updating. And looping back to zero every time we do a full rotation. So what I'm gonna do is add that modulo 360 to this, um, to the rotator. And here we go, we got nice full looping. And that's great. Um, 
But there is one problem. Let me just update it. Oops, undo that. I want to load it into Expressionist so it's synced up. Um, when we go into a negative rotation, it stops working. That's because it's trying to apply to a negative value. So I'm going to create a little if statement to um, to change the rotator value when it's a negative number. So basically, once um, this thing is, say, negative 10, I want to behave as if it's positive 350 and go downward from that. So the way I do that is I'll do an if the rotator is less than zero. Um, equals 360 plus the rotator. Um, basically, if we know the rotator is a negative number, 360 plus that will actually be a subtraction. So 360 plus negative 10 is 350, and that gives us the result that we want. And we don't have to worry about doing the modulo thing because it's already handled here. Um, so this should probably do it and have us all set up. So let me um, add that expression and start turning this in the negative direction and there we have it. We have a full forward and backward rotational controller with this um, bit of code. Now I'm just going to take the time remapping angle control stuff and drag it into my preset thing here and give it a new name. I'll call this turntable save it now anytime in the future where I have some footage that I want to be able to control in this way I just go let's go through this search for my turntable got it here drag it onto the footage and we're up and running so this is a great thing to have in your arsenal to easily control looping footage turntables uh, anything like that so I hope you enjoyed this and maybe learned something all right, thanks. Bye.